<laughs> Good morning, guys. I'm getting dripped on this morning. I am, truly. It's a bit of rain. No wonder I was a bit sore. <laughs> anyway, it's fucking joy. I was curious yesterday, well, last night, I was watching Netflix. I came across uh, this uh, TV series, new TV series called Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. She's uh, a Japanese lady um, who makes a living helping people tidy up uh, their life. And she gets such joy out of cleaning her house of all things. I know, mad, isn't it? It brought me to the thought of uh, the philosophy of bringing joy and appreciating and putting your full effort into the smallest things in life and sparking joy. Like when you see things, um, does it bring you joy? Like, you know, and if things bring you joy and if you've got multiple of them, choose the one that gives you the most joy and tidy up your life and organize it and just keep things in your life. That's basically things, well, obviously they give you the most joy. <laughs> Uh, just things that, you know, why surround yourself with a lot of stuff? I mean, a lot of people have stuff. I have stuff. I have a lot of stuff. But uh, a couple of times every year, I go through like my whole wardrobe and I go, you know what? That's it. I'm going to pull everything out. Is this useful? Does it make me happy? Do I like wearing it? If not, chuck it. <laughs> yeah, you need to be a bit sort of uh, ruthless, I guess. Well, some people say ruthless, but when you think about it, are there things that you have that you just have because you want to have them? And do you have like 10,000 like stripy shirts or 10,000 spotty shirts? I mean, I know you like stripes, and I know you like spots, but I tell you what, there's probably one or two or five or something like that that you really that are really the best ones that you like to have. And keep those ones. The other ones, eh, not so much. As much as you'd like to have them. And then organise stuff. It's a really interesting philosophy and a really interesting method that she goes through in order to organise and tidy up. And she even gets her kids in on doing it. So people are like, oh my god, I have kids, I don't have time. I said, well, you know, maybe you should teach your kids how to, to do that as well. I mean, it's not just about you and not having enough time. It's also about, you know, setting an example for other people, particularly if you have kids. Um, and, that, and that can help you as well. So then you, by default, create more time. I don't know. But anyway, sparking joy. It's not just in tidying. It's in all things in life. Things that you're passionate about. There's obviously things that I'm passionate about, one of which is shiny. Shiny. So <laughs> it's something that I don't think I could live without. And I have had people say, you know, what if the person who introduced you to Shiny, uh, you know, got run over by a bus? And I said, well, that's not something I'd like to think about. But if that happened, I would still be doing what I'm doing because I have, I don't know, this passion in my life, this thing that makes me happy. I enjoy it and everyone should have something in their life that they enjoy. You don't have to make a business out of it. You don't have to make it the sole focus of your life. It's something that gets you curious, that gets you excited. Um, it doesn't have to be excited, oh my God, you know, absolutely running your head off, but it could be a calm thing. It's something that you can focus on. One thing that you have in your life or a few things that you have in your life that when you're doing them um, or when you're around it or when you're, you know, participating in it, um, you tend to lose track of time. Uh, some things are like that. You just completely lose track of time. That's something that you are passionate about. I don't need to tell you what it is because, you know, that's your journey and that's what you like. But actually being able to indulge in it every now and again is very good for you. So bring a spark of joy into your life. Do it a little every day, once a week, however often that you want to do it explore it, reach in, get curious about it again. Sometimes there's things that you used to bring you joy that don't anymore. That's okay. You might find other things. So anyway, that's very brief. <laughs> and there's a few things that I'm going to do this year that will, oh, I'm scared of doing. I'm a little bit 
terrified, but excited at the same time. And I think, why the heck not? I'll just do it and see how I go. Okay. Anyways, I don't know what the weather's going to be like, but it is beautiful, refreshing here at South Bank. It's just had a bit of rain. I'm getting dripped on. <laughs> Anyways, see what uh, brings you brings you joy, sparks joy in your life. Um, that you know, it's things that you lose track of time doing. How often do you indulge in that? <laughs> and, um, do are there other people that you? Um, can share that with just reach out and enjoy thanks paul i hope you had a great christmas too and have a happy new year an awesome new year 2019 year chinese year of the piglet oh my god this ought to be fun and it falls in around my birthday so i don't know what i'm gonna do but it could be fun see ya